Let's talk about how to relieve gas with hand reflexology. We could get relief within minutes. Hello everybody, I want to welcome you to another episode on how to awaken your inner healer. My name is Helen Chin Lu. I am a certified reflexologist, certified energy medicine practitioner, Reiki master teacher, the owner of the Healing Place and the Healing Place Energy School. Thank you so much for joining me, I would say almost weekly, in a new episode on how to feel good by being proactive with your health. And I was thinking last night, what should I do for a topic? And my stomach was talking to me because my stomach was not in a good mood because I've been eating a little bit too much chocolate. I only eat one piece a day. And yesterday, out of the blue, my stomach started to be in pain. Can you hear me break the piece of chocolate? See, I like dark chocolate. And I usually allow myself one piece a day. But unfortunately, chocolate does not necessarily like me. And the reason why is a lot of times when we have body inflammation, all of a sudden anything, it could be chocolate, it could be caffeine, alcohol, meat, dairy, sugar, can upset the pH balance in our digestive tract. And the first thing I usually reach for when my stomach is not feeling well because, oh, I usually reach out for the apple cider vinegar. See, so I have my apple cider vinegar. You could use any organic live vinegar, not the clear white stuff, because the clear white stuff is primarily dead vinegar. So I'm going to probably take a shot of this as we're talking. And why? Why does your stomach start to act up when it's not in, when it's in body inflammation? More times than not, your body is not making enough hydrochloric acid, HCL, just like my initials, HCL. I'm kind of like acidy and spicy all at once. Well, kind of, but not really. So what I do when my stomach starts to act up, I know my stomach is not making enough hydrochloric acid. And people might be thinking, what is that? Well, you need hydrochloric acid to break down foods and to kill pathogens in your stomach and also to help break down foods and move food along. Because if your body is in inflammation, what happens to little hairs in your intestinals, uh, you have little hairs that moves food. So you can just imagine as you're eating, these little hairs are moving the food from uh, your stomach into your small intestine and out into the toilet. So when I start to have stomach distress because I end up feeling bloated and the gas is like erupting in my stomach, I always mix, I would say about a cup of water, room temperature water, don't do ice cold water. And for me, I like to put in one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar and I sip. So this one, I think I have about eight ounces of water. I usually like about 10 because I'm not fond of the apple cider vinegar. So I'm gonna take a couple sips. Oh, sorry. <laughs> but I wanna show you some hand reflexology to move gas, all right? So get ready. Before we jump into the technique, I'm going to talk to you about my new book. This is Foot Reflexology to Promote Relaxation. This booklet comprises of 25 uh, foot reflexology tips. I would like to do the hand version, but I just haven't had a chance to write the next booklet as of yet. And this is going to relax all of your organs and glands and your body functions so your body can heal. So this is really important because the tip that I'm going to show you is just a short one, two tips. And then this way you could practice it as much as you like. And you might be thinking, okay, how often to do it? Mm -hmm. uh, every day if your stomach's in distress. But if you do it in conjunction with the organic 
apple cider vinegar, your stomach's gonna respond probably within 24 hours. At least it does for me. Everyone is different. So you gotta do this technique on both your hands. Here we go. And I'm gonna write on my hand so you can see where to press. So we're gonna start here underneath the balls of your hands. This is the stomach here. I'm gonna say stomach. And since this is my left hand, this is my spleen. And down here is your intestines. So it comprises of your large and small. And you're going to do this technique on both of your hands. But since I'm just showing you the technique, I can't, well, I'll repeat it on the other side, but it's not really necessary. And then once you are done, go get some water. And all you have to do from this box on, you're gonna focus the two boxes. At one point, I was only working on the stomach, but it's really important to do the small intestine and the large. So I'm going to turn around and show you how I would do it on my, me personally. So you're going to do it here and you're going to forcefully see how my knuckles turn away. And in fact, it's a little achy and I'm going to walk across and you're going to, I'm going to focus deeply on the stomach, which is right here. And you could even twirl it a little bit and come a back to the edge and continue to walk. And why do you want to make tiny little increment walks? Is because you, you want to really dig in any place that feels tender. This is basically your brain is recognized. There was an energy gap. So as your food is emptying out on the right side of your intestine, into your intestines, you want to focus in that area. So once you're done, you're going to repeat what I just showed you. You're going to walk across four to five times, and then you're going to switch to the other hand. I didn't mark up this hand, but it's the same as this one. So I'm going to walk underneath, underneath the balls of my hands and across. How often to do this? I would say every single day uh, until you feel better. And how often should you do that? organic apple cider vinegar and water. Again, you could do it once or twice a day, and then once your stomach starts to feel better, then decrease to once a day, then every other day. Right now, I just do it once a month as maintenance, but lately, oh, the chocolate's been getting to me and I've been eating way too much. So this is Helen Chin Lu from The Healing Place. This is my energy tip, reflexology tip, to, to get rid of that gas in your stomach. I'll talk to you, you soon. Subscribe to my channel. Share this video with anybody that has acid reflux or stomach distress. Bye-bye.